March 3rd, 2021, AMD should be releasing their brand new RX 6700. Hopefully we'll see both a standard and an XT version, but we'll have to see. Now, do you think any of these cards will be in stock? Hmm, let's talk a bit about that, shall we? Are you building a new computer or just upgrading an old one? If so, then chances are you need a new Windows 10 key. And CD key sales, they've got you covered. Buying has never been easier. And prices for Windows keys are under $20 and there's even additional discounts. All you need to do is go search for the software that you're looking for, add that software to your cart, create an account, and when you go to checkout, enter the code TT18 to get an additional 20% off. Now, let's frag some. All codes are guaranteed, and you'll be up and gaming in no time. So here it is, folks. We all know that video cards have become a just freaking nightmare to try to get a hold of unless you want to pay really high prices. There's been all kinds of speculation about why this is happening. Um, on the NVIDIA side of things, people are saying that it's completely NVIDIA's fault and that they're selling directly to the miners. No, not minors and children, you fools. I don't know why you guys always say it in the comments. Minors, those are guys with pickaxes, only this time they're digital <laughs> Totally different thing. Got it, clear? All right, let's keep moving. So, check it out. Here's the thing. We'll have to see if with the AMD launch, it's any different because Here's what I feel about this situation and why I think we're going to see the same thing once again with no cards on the market. Now, truthfully, I hope that I have to eat my words. I hope that you guys in a couple days will be saying in the comments, ah, oh, Ulrich, ha, ha, you dummy, you were wrong. I really hope that that's what happens. I do, but will that happen? We'll have to see. So here's what I feel is happening, okay? NVIDIA, AMD, they make a certain amount of cards. Now, AMD has already actually addressed this before and said, hey, there's only so many chips that we can bring to the market. That's it. The fab can only make so many. So you guys have said, oh, well, you know, they should just build another fab and do this and that, you know, everything for the game, you know, for the gaming industry or whatever. Like at the end of the day, like, I don't know. I mean, I think that the market is getting so weird lately that I don't, I don't really know if AMD or Nvidia, maybe, I don't know. I mean, the cards are made for gaming, but do they honestly care? if gamers get those cards in their hands? I don't know, man. I, that part, I really don't know. We've talked about it a bunch of times. At the end of the day, every one of these companies is responsible to their shareholders and the people that get money. So they're going to want to make their money. So I've been in business a long time. I've worked in retail. I've worked in just every kind of different job in my life. And it usually goes like this, okay? There's a big company, and we're just gonna say that they make Brick Block A, okay? They make a certain amount of Brick Block A. This company can do this much. Even at max capacity, this is how much they make, okay? And then after that, they sell these products to distributors, okay? It's completely out of their hands. They've washed their hands. They've met the approval of the board. They've made the people who are getting their money happy because they sold them all. But now it's in the hands of a wholesaler, okay? Now the wholesaler can sell for pretty much whatever price he wants to and whatever price the market is dictating. So what I think is happening more and more and more though is I think that a lot of these companies out there that are getting these cards as a distributor are figuring out ways to just screw and fuck everybody. And that's just really the truth of the matter. I don't think that AMD 
or NVIDIA is truly guilty all the way down to the consumer level for sales. And when people out there say, oh, you know, well, they should make sure I can get a card. That's just, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, man. They don't have to do anything like that whatsoever. They're making what the fab can make. A lot of people are saying, oh, well, you know, these guys are making, you know, less and less cards on purpose. I don't think they're doing that either because think about it. These cards are selling so fast. Why wouldn't they want to sell more? They sell more, their shareholders get more. Also, a lot of people said there should be cards that are strictly made for mining. I completely do agree with this. What needs to probably happen to fix this solution is that there needs to be a way that the gaming cards that are sold on the market can't be used for mining whatsoever. Whatever has to be put into them to make them this way, I'm not sure, I'm not a scientist, but that's what really needs to happen to fix the problem. These companies need to make cards and have a ton of them that are strictly for miners because miners, they take the cards, they run them on, on lower voltage. They try to keep them really cool. Um, so, you know, they can make them their own specialty car because they're not gaming. So they're not running the chip at these super hot speeds that need all these crazy, you know, types of fan solutions. They can make a cheaper solution for the people that are mining. And that's what they need to do. AMD needs to have their version of cards, Nvidia their version of cards, and then they need to have gaming cards. And then the gaming cards need to be strictly for the people who game. That's really the only solution because once it gets in the distributor's hands, they can do whatever they want with those cards. And you guys are saying, oh, well, Nvidia should do this video. Every time Nvidia tries to do anything that tries to control the market, they get beat up across the board by so many sites, it's just ridiculous. The videos start coming out, they're just really silly. Oh, you know, these guys suck, they're dicks, they're fucking screwing everybody around, yada, 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 yada. Man, just, these companies ain't got time for that They're too busy. They really are too busy to be doing these conspiracy theory bullshit that a lot of people have. The bottom line is, people are home, they ain't got nothing to do. PC gaming, even though you can't get a video card, is, is more popular than ever. So all these people around the world want these cards. I mean, do you guys really think that Nvidia and AMD can make a card for everybody on the planet who wants one? I mean, think about it. It really does suck. The situation sucks. I think it sucks. You know it sucks. But I don't think the solution is beating up the companies that we love. You're an AMD fan, what? And if AMD tomorrow, you know, or excuse me, on March 3rd when they release the cards and they can't get a card, are you gonna be like, oh man, they're evil, they're, they're selling to the minor guys, you know, oh, the scalpers, the, 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 the people who are hacking the internet, like how are they really responsible for all that? Their responsibility was to make a graphics card and get it to the market. After that, I mean, it's a freaking almost wild west free for all. And that's just how it is. Um, so obviously we're going to see 6700, hopefully a 6700 XT. We will see though, if the open market actually has a lot of these cards. Now I hope that they do, but I'm thinking that with the way things are, we're gonna see a repeat of everything we've seen with video cards from all the companies every time it's happened. Think about it. Every release from every company, every time has had almost this exact same issue. So I think the issue is making separate cards, blocking the gaming cards so they can't be used that way. That way the market can level out. Let me know what you guys think. I always love to hear your opinions. My name's Elric. You guys have been watching Tech of Tomorrow. If you like my style, hey, please subscribe and make sure you turn that little notification bell up there or you won't know I'm making videos. Also, if you wanna help keep the channel around and you've never tried Amazon before, try Amazon Prime for free. I have a link down below. It helps give me credit to keep my channel around and you can watch stuff and enjoy it for 30 days. And if you have a single $1, you can support me over on Patreon. So peace out. The 6700 is coming March 3rd, just a few days away. Let's see just exactly what the f happens with it, right? See you then.